Stay with me today. Nope. <laughs> All right, today we have something a little different starting Bridgerton off. And in this video, we have the first two episodes of season one. I think we all know that everybody watches this show for the storyline, the cinematography, absolutely nothing else. And if you guys do want the full length reaction to this, no idea if there's some moments that I need to censor, maybe. You can find that on my Patreon in the description below. You'll also get early access to future stuff. So let's not wait. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Place our bets for the upcoming social season. Three misses foisted upon the marriage market like sorrowful sows. Tighter! Is she to breathe, Mama? I was able to squeeze my waist into the size of an orange and a half. <laughs> an orange and a half? Far better. It's already got me thinking because I know the show's so hey yo. Oh Jesus. Bounty of perfectly handsome sons. Ah yes, I can tell by the painting. I feel like a princess. Do I look like one? On your left! Is that Captain America? I shall run upstairs and hasten her along. She likes me much better than you, Benedict. Did you say that? But who said these guys were handsome? Daphne! You must make haste! If you need a translation, that means hurry up, bruv. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to remember these characters as well as I can. She's probably the most beautiful so far. Where is he, Benedict? I do not know. Oh, good Jesus! Right. Well, thanks for that harsh cut. Not behind the tree, in front of the tree. I wonder where this was filmed, actually. I don't know why that just reminded me of Hampton Court. It's probably not. Is she the main character? She's giving main character energy. Most important day. London's marriage-minded misses are presented. I see. For what? To give them men? I don't understand. All presented by their mother, Lady Featherington. How many feathers? This is the feather family. You don't want to mess with this bitch. Jeez, look at her. That's a queen. She looks very moody and feisty. Oh. And the young lady's value plummets. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's the biggest fan of these three. Daphne Bridgerton. Presented by her. By her, I'm sure. She has a great personality. If she waves her off, she's blind. Don't look at me. Flawless, my dear. No, she's quite flawless, to be fair. Brighter a lady shines, faster she may burn. I guess, but you can say that about anything. Rather that than be a dim light, surely. Let's see how truly AO the show is, though. Let's see. Well, I'm not normally the biggest fan of romance, so it'd be interesting to see what else this kind of has, apart from just like all what I know about it, which is. Hey, it has been said that of all bitches, dead or alive, a scribbling woman is oh, the most canine. It's narrator is a bit vicious, I think. Lady Whistledown. Lady Whistledown. Wh whistle. I certainly know you. You know me? Merely simpered and minced in a pretty dress like everyone else. Not exactly like everyone else. She's trying to be modest. What was it the Queen called you again? Flawless. Or some such thing. Trust her as a- Or some such thing. Like she isn't replaying that moment over and over again in her head. We will all need to find love one day. Oh, they hate her so much. I've met many girls like that. The girl that she's hate. Um. List subjects by name. Let me see. Wait. wait. Lady Whistledown. Lady Whistledown. No, it's Lady, Lady Whistle. Whistle down. Oh, I should gladly sit this season out. This shall be her very first season. I am not nervous, Mama. This is two stone heavier than she ought to be. <laughs> oh, God. Should I laugh? God took me off guard. Perhaps. The answer's no, Penelope. Oh, that's not fair. I didn't mean to laugh. It got me off guard. Lord Featherington's cousin has arrived, madam. <gasps> Can't tell what she's thinking. I do like the hair, though. God, she hates her children. So I'm pretty sure everyone's thirsting over this guy from what I've heard about this show. Does he know how to lay the pipe or something? I mean, probably. It's an important skill. <laughs> That's what I sound like in the shower, actually. The voice of an angel. Oh, he wants a slice. Oh, Jesus. He's getting the whole cake. No. How do I commentate this? Should I do it like as a sport or something? Stay with me today. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could make too many jokes. 
<laughs> gotta go. I'm so sorry. That was such an important business meeting. I'm so sorry. I absolutely never do that. And wary father's making arrangements for only the most advantageous of matches. She loves him. To be fair, he's quite jacked. Every woman is not afforded such gallant protection. Well, every woman is not a lady. Of course not, my lord. Of course not, my lord. He definitely makes her say that. You have me protecting you too. I will always protect you. <sighs> I, I'm just refraining from saying certain things. I don't want to listen to that. I can't even speak because I'm so... Ignore me. Just ignore me. This show's giving me a lisp. Titled, chaste, and innocent. So are they, like, together? Brother, sister? What is that? Because he's obviously just with her, but is she... Unless that other one's a mistress we just saw? I don't know. Do you love to dance? Should you like my flower? We grow them in our very own garden. I must show you my watercolour. Well, oh, suggestive eyes. It's quite proficient on the piano forte too. See, this environment, right? It's like the women trying to sell themselves to the guy. But nowadays, it's kind of the polar opposite. Everywhere, mainly. Like 95% of the time. This guy is absolutely begging just for you to say hello. I'm kind of hooked though, even though we don't really know anything about any characters. <laughs> is every guy gonna have a pop? Have a pop at the champ? I want them to come to you again. Oh God, she's playing her cards right. Oh, this just feels weird. Cause it's like, oh. Just seeing men stare, I find it hilarious. If I recall, my lord, you had just won your first race at Newmarket. It's first and only, I believe. <laughs> hey, do you want your sister for yourself or something? This is going Game of Thrones style. The unpaid balance you left on our betting books went to last. Why is he, like, belittling every guy? Unless he wants someone actually good. Nah, I think he could be a little bit Game of Thronesy. It is the very reason I am here, sister. No, nah, he's up to something. Very manipulative eyes. Definitely. I don't trust him one bit. He's right, the pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> he is of dubious parentage. So maybe this guy wants her to, like, marry into status, like, rich, if it's not Game of Thrones. And she pretty much wants, like, a nice boy. She doesn't seem to care about that. Is there a reason I've yet to see you on the dance floor? All in good time, Lady Dumbledore. Where do I know her from? I know her from somewhere. Doctor Who? What is it? Martha's mum? Yes. Who is that? I'm sure I've never seen her. <laughs> She's rather dowdy, is she not? How does that mean? She's like the most miserable woman. There's so many words I don't understand. Imagine your household will be a hive of callers in the morning. They're all being shunned and ignored. So painful. Once it gets like 3 a.m., don't worry. And this guy, oh, he knows how to carry himself. Duke, would recognize him anyway. Where are you taking us? Let's go, ladies. <laughs> Jesus, the power this man has. All the women. How does one learn this power? <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask Chris. Already done so much for me tonight. I shall return in a mere moment. Yeah, she's basically telling you to piss off. Overprotective brother. Who's the first that's gonna talk to her? Small glasses. Or bear book. No, you're not it, mate, sorry. Then the matter is settled. I'm not entirely sure the I'm matter sorry? in which we... Ever since I was a schoolboy and you were... Five? What? Ugh! Miss Bridgerton! <laughs> <laughs> what was that guy talking about? Small glasses. What an idiot. Oh. oh, the Duke. Tell me your name. Your name, sir. Am I honestly to believe you do not already know my name? Oh, very full of himself. Surely they will try anything. No, we genuinely don't know who you are, buddy. To be fair, it would be a good strategy, but she genuinely doesn't know. You just gotta humble them a bit, right? Oh, the Duke of Hastings, is it? Your sister. <laughs> now he's interested. Well, I guess they're getting together. He's not subtle, is he? <laughs> I wonder how old these characters are meant to be as well. The most perfect thing for you to do now is not to dance, but to leave them all wanting more. Yes, that's smart, that's true. No, that's a good strategy. Let us go. Play the cards you have. They're like, no, I must have thee! Thy diamond of the first water! Yeah, I'm sure he just wants her to get with a guy who is very well known slash rich. Am I the first gentleman to arrive? How wonderful. The Earl of Stafford and the Marquis of Finley. Your word. Poor Miss Marina Thompson. They are literally being slapped in the face repeatedly. It seems our diamond requires a closer inspection. You are in my seat. This guy. Oh, Jesus. Brilliance, fire, and luster has been unearthed. <laughs> <laughs> this is what a girl's Instagram requests look like. Well, I must be off to my club then. Sisters? 
I don't like that guy, though. Am I meant to not like him? Should anyone pay any heed to what Lady Whistledown writes of late? I certainly do not. Me neither. Lady Whistledown. A caller for Miss Bridgerton. Oh! <laughs> the Lord Burbrook. Oh? Oh, this nutcase. Lord Burbrook, freshly prepared biscuits. I don't think he wants the biscuits. <laughs> Eloise. She's terrified. The mum seems to like him. <laughs> His face cracks me up. Forgive me for not calling sooner. I presumed your affections were already engaged. You and I were destined for each other. I'm sorry? Who's writing your destiny? <laughs> what else could you say? Tis thee I shall earn. Wonderful, wonderful gentlemen. Lady Whistledown has all but declared me ineligible. Speak as if Lady Whistledown were to be held in higher regard than Her Majesty the Queen. Yeah, why is Whistledown saying that? Jealousy? It is my duty. And what of my duty? You have no idea what it is to be a woman. Higher life reduced to a single moment. That is true, back then. That was kind of it, right? I'm glad you said that, to be fair, because it has felt very... I don't know if demeaning is the right word, but kind of. Because that's just not how it is nowadays, you know? There are plenty of girls who are like, I just want to be single for a while, I just do my own thing, I don't necessarily want kids. What an impressive presence it is. Look at that. The bicep flex. Would you like to read it? <laughs> you just pose... Who wakes up like that? I do. It's more of like a... Are you truly not planning on taking your place in society when you have a duke to have a title? Me. The Hastings, you, you can't stop calling me that. This is my father's name. I don't like either of them yet. Where is your wife? Is your plan to f*** her forever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was his mistress. Brothers. So what, you don't want to marry? <clears throat> your caller. <laughs> Leave us alone. Hey, listen, you can't read the hate. I can see why people got obsessed with this show though, honestly. I'm more invested in this already, like half an hour in, than my own love life, which is non-existent. She made quite an impression, however fleeting it may have been. <laughs> Was that a joke I didn't understand? Should her degradation know no bounds? <laughs> <laughs> see, I could be the opera. He's not what Whistledown writes. Oh, it's Daphne. I love listening to the gossip. I'm getting the inner scoop. Perhaps we need to help her to see things a bit more clearly. It's the whole story about who is Whistledown. What was that about? People there actually work for a living. Well, she does seem to be someone with access. What? Do you not work for a living? What do you do? You have yet to read what was it on rights of the Featheringtons, little sister. The Featheringtons are literally just a hostile word. Just a part of the jokes. I can't think of a better comparison. No, he does have a presence about him. Calm down. Oh, he carries himself. Is that envy I detect in your voice? Oh, the eyebrow, oh my God. I need to you appear displeased. It would be better if you refrained from thinking about me at all. No, I see how people are obsessed now, okay. I don't know whether it's his voice. His arrogance is on the fine line between too far. It's so close. Clearly, arrogant most definitely. You are a rake. Who is to refrain from thinking about whom again? <laughs> oh, did she just call him a rake? I was actually reading about the rake. I'm so glad you decided to join us this evening. So they don't want him to get with her? I feel like he'd be like the perfect candidate for her, no? I can't really read like people's intentions that well. It will not work. I can think of worse matches for Daphne than a duke. That's what I'm saying. He has absolutely no intention of marrying. Oh, I see. Because he's a rake. You would most certainly not have the Duke anywhere near Daphne. That's he will not nice. make her happy. I mean, he's very arrogant, but I'm sure he's all right. Will you pay a visit to a certain soprano? They pay for on the other side of town. Oh, she knows. You like to speak of responsibility. My dear son, if your father was still here, Daphne would already have been matched. So why doesn't he want to have kids? Is he just trying to escape any form of responsibility. Especially if his dad's gone, he should be the man of the house now. And that's a really good team. Yeah, why does he keep paying for her? You're paying. I cannot see you anymore. Why do you not understand? It is not for you to understand. I can't afford you. I must do what is necessary. You are draining me in many ways, financially and. You promised to care for me, my lord. Well, said that when I was horny. Sorry. You shall leave. He's growing up. A scandal. Turn out to be the most damning scandal of all. What's the scandal? Tell me. I wouldn't think mistresses were that frowned upon back then. Pen. But Colin, Mama would never allow me to wear a dress like this. Really? Not uh, yellow enough, I think. She's so cute, actually. She's my favourite. How convenient. You little bitch. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. You see you there. <sighs> I cannot offer you that dance, Miss Cowper. Yeah, good. I love this guy. I love him and her. Yes. You're a cow. <laughs> <laughs> She's never been rejected before. I love this guy. Oh, this makes me happy now. You look just like him, your father. 
Oh, he hates being compared to him. Men don't like stepping into the shoes of their father. He wants to be his own man, I'm sure. What is that, blood? Was it blood on the sheets? That is sick. Wonderful light. To speak strictly, there's nothing wrong with him. What should any of you're this... You're to marry him. Be grateful it is done. But we don't... Who is he? In love with Lord Burbrook as with anyone else. Wait, the nutcase? I swear there must be blood on those sheets. I'm so confused. Oh, was that the bit earlier when she was like freaking out? Wait. You haven't bled. Oh, haven't? It's been over a month since your arrival. Haven't? By your revolting recklessness, I would be. Do you even know who the father is? Okay, I was confused. I was like, it must be she's pregnant. So out of touch, so superior. <laughs> I was really confused with the whole like, Meaning of the blood was. Whatever are you doing? Oh God. Nigel, not now. We to drop the honorific so soon as your husband. You will never. You think yourself better than me? Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna try. And then Duke saves her. The <clears throat> oh, she clocked him. I had no intention of knocking the climp flat out. Oh, that guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> She's tiny. Has she really got that much of a wallop? <laughs> I'll break her hat. <laughs> oh, she swore. Marry me, Miss Bridgerton. No. That may be the least romantic of all. <laughs> Perhaps there is an answer to our collective Lady Whistledown issue. Oh, she can be walking hand in hand with him. So Whistledown shuts up. Yes. He loves himself. Can you blame him? Not really. You must know men are always interested in a woman when they believe Duke to be interested as well. So it's a win-win with this ploy. Closer. Oh, she's dead. She's finished. You must appear madly in love. But she is. The way they like quickly arrange this deal though, in like a minute. But I feel like she loves him already. Yet, if anyone shall reveal the circumstances, it is I, Lady Whistledown. Who is this bitch? Who's giving birth? <laughs> These are some of the worst scenes. I don't want to <laughs> hear that ever. Well, not ever, but you know what I mean. <laughs> not right now. If not her husband, then... <laughs> the only appropriate reaction. Drink. I must know if I'm at long last to have a son. Oh, that's why he came in. Oh, tell me. Oh, tell me. The, the baby's not even out. Tell me if it's a boy. What is it? It's a boy, your grace. If it was a girl, God knows what he was about to do. Check it out the window. She about to die. I don't want to see all the blood. Oh. I have a son. Not worrying about her. <laughs> I have a son. Oh, she could die. If I a son. Too much blood. It's the way he doesn't care. I can almost want to laugh because it's comical. The next Duke of Hastings. <laughs> He, he doesn't give a toss. Oh, that's him. Oh, oh, okay. That's cool. But I was gonna say, surely if he didn't give a toss, he'd be impregnating women left, right, and center to try and get a son. She was like, I finally gave him one. He, 50 or 100 women. The morning after any good party, shock and delight. Huh? That is the world's laziest bath. That doesn't even look fun. You need toys in the bath if you're gonna have one. Not to, no, I don't mean like that. No, 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 no. I meant no. Like <laughs> No, don't mean like that. No. I mean, if you want, but... Uncatchable rake. The Duke of Hastings. Where are you going so early, Your Grace? To promenade. <laughs> the Duke rarely smiles. Definitely has an excellent sense of humour. I don't think he's with her for the sense of humour. Eight balls. No. Eight balls. Is to ensure I marry my very first season. We just know you're going to get married by the end. If you were truly courting me, you'd buy out every florist in town. I would not leave flowers only five minutes alone with you in a drawing room. True. Like, if I'm with you, I'm not going to be posting you on Instagram. <laughs> I've got to stop. Uh, the show is my favourite queen right there in the middle. What are you guys talking about? Why if you do not fall silent about Miss Thompson's condition. <laughs> Why is Miss Thompson to be kept away? Because her condition is catching. They know she's preggers. So Daphne may be in love. What exactly has she accomplished then? <laughs> she certainly did not build that man or bake him. You are such a little spiteful sod. Do you know what is an accomplishment? <laughs> Attending university. <laughs> because some man should like to admire my sister's face and hair and fill her up with babies. Oh, babies. 
thought you were going to say something else. How did she become a child if she's not married? I will find out. You must. Oh my god, out, out of wedlock? Oh. When did it actually become like not the norm to have to be married first before AEO? Because there must have been, it must have been gradual. Or was it like one day, you know? What about the Ramsby ball Friday too? Oh, and what about the grand picnic? We shall see, Mama. The mum wishes she was a diamond of the first water. How does a lady come to be with child? Uh, Eloise, what a question. I thought one needed to be married. What, I take it the two of you? No? Do not look at me. Have you ever visited a farm? No. <laughs> <laughs> the birds and the fees. Call us for Miss Daphne, <laughs> mum. <laughs> but I suppose now I have more. Because she thinks, or she wants to look elsewhere for someone else, but I see them getting married. What is happening? This bloody tosser. So all of us want to give him a straight right hook, right in the mouth. Oh, I expect her to be the only one present. Dear God. Oh my God, everyone's queuing up. Her DMs are full. Because she is already engaged to be married. Has anyone truly proposed to me? No. Promising me to Nigel Burbrook. Anthony, tell me you did not. He's a fine choice. I look. <laughs> a fine choice. Nigel is anything but a fine choice. What happened to his eye? It's quite grotesque. Daphne! <laughs> the Duke is not a serious suitor. He will never marry. I will not marry Nigel Burbrook. <laughs> I don't think anyone will. Well, and if the Duke is not? I shall have others. Daphne, I saw the way the two of you looked at each other last night and this morning. There are no others. That's the real giveaway. The way they look at you. Not what they say. The eyes don't lie. The eyes don't lie, Chico. <laughs> Remind me again why you were the first person I chose to reacquaint my- Just get punched in the face, but his face is still immaculate. <laughs> He's actually getting clocked. <laughs> He's got that perfect face. Are you going to come down here or must I come up there? Fists have taken enough pounding from your chin today. Well, apparently his face hasn't taken a pounding at all because it's immaculate. This morning, I can oh, Are you courting my sister? Should I not be courting your sister? No. And I can think of dozens of- <laughs> <laughs> Burbrook is a wholly unworthy suitor for Miss Bridgerton. He is perfectly decent. This is my sister. Think of all that we have shared as friends. He can't tell him the plan, can he? I don't think so. Even though he's probably tempted to. He's four years old. He should be able to speak. Four years old or not speaking? Yeah, that is behind, right? Let us hear it, boy. Talk to me, damn you. You are scaring me. Nah, no wonder he hated his dad and still does. I'm him still. No. What did you say? You heard me. <laughs> what is he doing? That's so cute. An imbecile. Your grace. He is an idiot! What? The Hastings name cannot land over half wit! Oh no! Come here, I'll look after you. Be my son. Oh, he's dead to me. God, that guy's a good actor though to make me hate him instantly. Yeah, such a good light, because again, the first episode, right, we see him in the the suave, charismatic light, and then only hear like briefly why that he hates his dad. And then now you just all see why it's great. You can come in. She is a queen, let's be real. I can only imagine how he will react to your condition. My full tummy. How did it happen? I said this earlier, look. Cake. Cake. Cake? You got cake? Sneaked me a wrapped bundle of cake and biscuits. Then you got preggers? Never longed for church quite so much. Where is Sir George now? He went off to fight with Wellington. Oh, she's craving a love story for herself. What about by love? It was love, Penelope. Was it? <laughs> was it? <laughs> That's a little bit too flexible, I'm not gonna lie. I don't need that. You a delicious tidbit about our former scullery maid. I don't care about a dish wedge. A dish wedge? I've never heard those two words combined before. And bring me my stationery at once. It's crazy the human body can even do that. The bones don't break. I mean, look at that. What is that? <laughs> She's hardly even looking. This girl's breaking her neck. Pearls, miss. Oh, the pearls, of course. The rubies. More new suitors. <laughs> Put all my eggs in one basket. True, true. Invest in one person, they rip your heart out. Well, you're left holding the basket with nothing in it. The Queen, ma'am, she has written to you, my lady. What's it say, mama? <laughs> Patience. Invited to a private tea with the Queen. We shall wear the family diamonds tonight. <laughs> She's gonna try and get her married, I guess. I actually love his backstory, this is great. Your mother would weep to know her dearest friend was a stranger to her son. She's always looked after him, is she? Well then, why ever are you not in school? I c c can no, not. Oh, he's got a little stutter. Poor darling. Oh, let's squeeze him. Oh. I made myself 
frightening, and I made myself the most terrifying creature in any room I entered. She is scary. You will be worthy of the attention you command. That is so cute, though. I'm honestly surprised how this is so much more than just AEO, which is all I heard about this show. Like, this character's sick now. She's just been looking after him this whole time. The dance, Miss Bridgerton. I shall need someone else to seek me a glass of Ratafia then. <laughs> and this just makes me think now, you know how everyone's, you know, really obsessed with sort of things like Gossip Girl and even shows like this, or even just other people's relationships on social media, but it really shows that we've been like this forever. Everyone in the room like, oh, who's with who? Who's with who? And we must look like we are enjoying ourselves, as difficult as that may be. Quite. Just go in the drawing room for five minutes, come on. So when they first smash, I'm gonna freak out. They better show us the full uncut thing. I mean, the full uncut scene. Not the... I, I need to watch my words. <laughs> oh, oh, he's swapping sides. <laughs> he's changing teams. Go dance with your sister. Why? Because I asked you to. <laughs> Why? Oh God, here comes Nigel. Surprise, I have long coveted for her grace. For her powerful right hook. I must know whether I can count on you to handle this misunderstanding. She did pack a wallop though, somehow. I assured you I will resolve the matter. She might learn to return my affections. I presume he failed to mention how he got that purple eye. Was careless with a cabinet door. <laughs> Cabinet door? Is this a cabinet door? You will never speak to my sister again, Burbrook. Hell yeah. Have that, Nigel. The young lady is as rare a treasure as there is. Do try not to bungle it up. <laughs> Don't fumble the bag, bro. Come on. But you have to learn from fumbling the bag a couple times, you know. Uh oh. Watch when he shanks him. Go home, Burbrook. But you do not need her. You already have the, the money and the connections and the standing. I need her. Well, that's why you want her. Why have you not already proposed? Unless you have already had her. Oh, don't be spitting lies. She was loose and damaged, not intact. Never oh my god! Whoa! Did you say loose and ruined? You do not deserve to breathe the same air as her. And you do. This guy's vile. Oh, oh a headbutt! <laughs> This is getting so juicy, man. This is getting so juicy. Dude. The way he's like, have you already had her? You're loose and ruined. After one time? That's not, that's not how it works. No, I'm fully entranced by this show. I'm receiving high marks in all of my studies, sir. I ride and I fence and I shoot. You can talk well now. I even... I... Oh, he's scaring him. You are my worst failure. I beg your... Pardon. I am sure you do. You're making it worse. Which is out of my sight. Bitch mouth shut. What did you say? Did you receive my letters? I was useless as your mother proved to be. To forget that you ever sullied these halls. What the hell, man? Listen, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're at this rich name in line or whatever. That is not how you raise someone if that's what you want them to be. You shouldn't even be that hard on him, but let alone if you want him to be this person. Don't tell him they're useless. Well, come on, son. You know, we, you know, give him some encouragement. Like, this is just terrible. Like, it's being harsh. That is just not helpful. That makes me angry, man. Jesus. He's gallant, is he not? With refined taste. Stop! Is it rude not to your liking? You're not to my liking. Yeah, it's crazy how this show hooks you, though. I think it's the lack of drama in my own life, though. Maybe a little bit. Anyone agree? Is that how it works? An excursion into nature and loosen the tongue. I huh? Who's loosening the tongue? What? Mama might take go play with Eloise. Maybe does not play Penelope. Give me <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you learned from your maid, the one who was in the family way? How did it happen? She said. Drama, drama. Give us the juice. <laughs> I don't know why that looks so funny. You are late. Apologies. He is always dripped out though. Everyone has such good style. We must promenade past a group of men playing their games up ahead. It's so tactical. Let's walk here in front of everyone looking. Definitely there is like so many fake relationships with celebrities. Guaranteed. Oh my god. Look at this lads. Whoa. Some wrist. Some wrist action. You're not the marrying type. You're not the type women wish to marry. I do suppose if I were forced to t Oh, they do. They're still looking. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Uh-oh. The arrangement is cancelled. Uh, Lord Burbrook, you look in a great deal of pain. Shall we continue this conversation? See, why didn't um the Duke's island like that, though, in the sparring session get whacked in the face? What would someone like, say, Lady Whistledown do with such unseemly uh, information? That's Lady Whistledown's gonna cancel them. Cancelling's always been here. Which you could not protect them. <laughs> Bridgerton, Hastings. 
Well, that is not good. We better get out of that. I must marry Nigel Burbrook. No, not Nigel. Oh, imagine if she had to AEO here. That is disgusting. Oh, drier than the desert. So that's a grim thought. <laughs> And what matches are those that can work outside? Eloise Bridgerton. Been caught having a blem. Go on then, chastise me. Spare one for me? It was chastise. Am I an idiot for not knowing that word? Let me Google the word. Rebuke. Severely. <laughs> Again, he doesn't have any bruises on his face or body. She's to marry. Then you are free to do as you please. <laughs> I must have, this show is good at hooking me, but there's so many, like, little things that throw me off like that. Is this her meeting with the queen? I like these shots. You really get the scale of the situation, though, of the location. I feel intimidated. Oh, hell yeah! Pass. Give us some. Is that snuff or something else, though? That wasn't white. Your Majesty, is this about... Brimsley. Fresh snuff. It is snuff. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah, don't ask how I know about snuff. I was like 13 and this guy, I knew. I won't say his name because maybe someone will never... <laughs> He would just always have it. It was horrible. It's nasty. A future with someone like a duke. Pairing like that. Well. Maybe you can help us get out of this sticky situation. Nigel is my one and only child. <laughs> very special boy. Yeah, he is very special. God did not bless me with another because perfection had already been achieved. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Miss Bridgerton, allow me to set my... <laughs> <laughs> this woman. Must try harder, dear. And Nigel is quite discerning. He already turned away many more handsome debutantes saying, Mother, I prize accomplishment over beauty. What a rotten liar. Yeah, I swear so much of this must be at Hampton Court. This looks like so many rooms there. Actually, no, you know, I said that in the first episode. And I googled it after and it was. Some of it was filmed there. The out, outside at least. You ate, but not one bite at tea, my dear. She ate and left no crumbs for real. Kippers on rye every morning worked wonders for me when I conceived my Nigel. What? You're this gal. Lord Birdbrook has a boy by one of his maids that he refused to provide for. Horrible man. Yes. Horrible Cancel him. Get him. Every baron has a bastard. A bastard who sent away before the miss even popped. Yeah, the term bastard just has no weight nowadays, does it? But in the case of the bumbling Baron Burbrook, displeasing appearance is quite an apt metaphor for the state of affairs. <laughs> She's got him. <laughs> <laughs> Who we can only hope takes after his mother. Uh oh. I love the mum now. That was a good move. Oh, a little flicker. A little flicker. I saw that. Oh, oh. You see, he's got bruised hands in the punching, but his face is <laughs> still beautiful. I wish to find a husband. She can't hide that. We saw the gulp. You know when you got him. They can't hide it. It's like some Wattpad stuff now. Whatever is bothering you? Nothing at all. Oh, he's getting jealous. There it is. There's the protective nature. Oh, his dad's dying. The great Hastings. Man, he shall continue. Any vow I will ever make in my life, I will never marry. I will never sire an heir. <laughs> the Hastings. <laughs> the sound of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so he's doing that to get back at him, right? You monster. Oh! Speak. Yes, yeah, speak. Who's got the stammer now, sod? Hello? Hello? Why is this so good? So that does it for the first two episodes of Bridgerton and I'm hook, line and sinker with this story. I honestly didn't expect to be into the story. I thought it'd be just all the AEO stuff, but uh, I've been proven wrong. And please let me know by liking the video and commenting if you want to see more Bridgerton on this channel. As normally we just do movies, but if people really do want to see it, I will happily watch more. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And of course, if you did want to see more of these episodes and get early access when I watch more, you can find that on my Patreon in the description below. So thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.